Focus on the circle in the middle of the screen until the counter reaches zero. Keep your eyes on the circle. supposed to last. What? It's already over. Yo, Phil, you don't look so good. Are you alright? I don't know, man. Hey, who are you? Oh, I'm you. Don't you recognize me? No, I do. You're me. What's going on? Well, I'm you, but you're not me. You see, we're both Phil, but not really the same Phil. I'm one of the infinite manifestations that you could possibly be at any given moment, really. I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking, this is all wrong. None of this really exists. But how can that be? Ask yourself, what lies outside of existence? Non-existence. Non-existence doesn't exist. It's actually quite simple if you think about it. So if you're following me, and I know that you are, I am you, we've established that what's happening right now lies within the realm of existence. But does that make it real? Well, yeah, I mean, if something exists, then it's real, right? Yes, but I need you to understand something. I need you to understand that this isn't the only reality. Whatever's happening right now is truly happening, but it's not the only thing happening. Do you understand quantum physics? No, not really. Good, neither do I. It's pretty strange, we'll leave that alone then. What do you think will happen to you after you die? Do I stop existing? No, remember, non-existence doesn't exist. You can't just exist for one moment and not the next. Conservation of energy. But you're clearly not living the next, and it's strange to assume that your life beams out to some other location or other plane of existence. Life is too inexorably intertwined with your living body, your thoughts too intertwined with your living brain. 
Reincarnation doesn't make all that much sense either because that implies that there is and always has been a static number of living beings on the planet, all the way back to the dawn of bacterial life. So if your life as a small part of overall existence won't start again after death, and it won't even truly end after death, then what does that say about your life now? Has it ever even truly begun?